browsing to the screencast on some Web 2.0 work that we've been doing in the CTO office at EMC. What we're seeing here is uh, the login page to a Web 2.0 mashup that we built to try to examine how we can um, leverage Web 2.0 techniques like Ajax and wikis and REST and Mashup and various other um, browser-based Web 2.0 kinds of uh, technologies to think about how we can do a better job um, helping our customers manage data center operations more effectively. So what we've done here is we've taken um, a fairly simple uh, set of concepts from Web 2.0, simple and familiar to folks that are um, versant in Web 2.0 kinds of concepts, and we've applied them to a, uh, an interesting problem within data center management. So what we did is we uh, put together a handful of technologies, including Jack B. Presto to do server-side mashups. I'll say a few more words about that in a few minutes. We built a fairly simple REST interface on top of um, some of EMC's um, device and application discovery technologies um, to provide a more convenient access to that information about the servers and the storage devices and the network devices, etc., etc., um, make that information more available to um, browser-based applications, to mashups, etc., etc. The particular screen we're looking at here, um, you know, is a fairly standard-looking Web 2.0 browser-based interface. It's got the typical kind of navigation um, mechanisms here on the left. In the middle, it's got a uh, map kind of visualization of the devices um, in this particular small little data center. And it's a fairly typical Web 2.0 kind of application that's got sort of the drag, um, zoom in, zoom out, pan kinds of things that we're all getting pretty used to for um, use within modern um, web uh, applications. And this is using pretty standard AJAX, nothing that interesting nowadays, but it does reflect this Web 2.0 trend towards more desk-like kind of functionality um, available in the browser. We've got, you know, all those kinds of things you'd expect, uh, you know, the ability to, to move these things, edit them, etc. Um, the pane in the right is a um, is a tabbed pane. It shows two particular tabs. The first tab is just an AJAX uh, visualization of um, of the the properties that are available in the um, uh, in the topology. So this is um, uh, the nodes that are selected. It goes. Uh, the application goes out in, you know, the asynchronous kind of AJAX fashion and pulls a very small uh, property sheet here. The other interesting thing that we've um, um, examined is the use of wikis as a mechanism to um, provide a neutral ground uh, for uh, various administrators to go and examine the devices. Now what's typical in um, data center management is that you've got um, network administrators who are day-to-day uh, -day administering the, the storage area network, etc. Um, they are very versant in the very rich tools that help storage area network professionals do their job. However, many um, problems in the data center are cross-functional. In other words, they need some input from storage administrators, some input from server administrators, application administrators, etc. What we're trying to do with the wiki is to suggest, well, maybe a wiki is a good way to show device information in a way that doesn't require administrators from the different disciplines to become more versant in the tools of 
um, you know, the other uh, disciplines within the data center. So a storage admin doesn't need to learn all of the tools and the ins and outs and complex user interface of a server admin's tools, but rather be able to use a wiki to be able to share notes, etc., about um, what's recently going on in the data center. The other pane is essentially where the heart of this mashup comes. What we've done with this pane is that we've um, we've partnered with a um, a company called Splunk. What Splunk's done is they built a search engine capability over uh, the non-structured information, the non-modeled information within the data center. Things like log files and SMP trap streams and that kind of thing. What Splunk does is it provides a, a nice Web 2.0 means by which searches can be uh, prototyped using a nice web-based uh, interface and then once the pattern of an error or a problem or symptoms within a log file have been captured we can give them a name and here is a list of the of the names that we've captured so far um, and then run them periodically so we've taken that capability of being able to name and periodically run patterned searches against a set of log files, mash that up against the topology information coming from EMC Smarts, essentially the discovery uh, mechanism behind this particular picture in the middle here, and then do the mashup. So we can run one or more of these and we run the mashup using Splunk to provide one data stream and then the heart of this mashup is um, is the Jack B. Presto server-side uh, mashup engine that provides us the right convenient hooks to be able to make the various calls into Splunk into uh, our REST uh, API over smarts and then combine those two data streams um, in a fairly clever way to actually be able to do identity reconciliation between non-modeled or log file information and modeled or topology information is actually quite tricky and so having the mashup being run on the server side provides uh, sort of the right kind of programming approach, the right kind of security approach, the right kind of um, you know uh, performance and load balancing approach uh, to this particular problem, this kind of non-trivial join of information from these two disparate kinds of worlds. Um, so the, the mashup then has identified that um, there were a handful of log file entries that corresponded to this pattern and in fact there were some that, that mashed up or were associated with this particular server here. We also use a wiki uh, to be able to provide a little bit of information about um, the error itself. Now clearly we haven't um, gone in and populated all of the information etc but we would imagine a community of interested developers, of interested um, EMC field staff, uh, interested EMC product staff and um, knowledgeable customers could over time build up a um, a wiki um, of the various interesting errors that they've seen in the data center and um, the steps that they took to observe the error, the impacts of the error, and the steps they took to resolve those errors. So that's the quick mashup. It's a mashup, not in the consumer space, but rather in the IT resource management space. It combines information from log files as produced from Splunk and accessed using Splunk's Web 2.0 capabilities. It combines that with topology information coming from um, EMC product called Smarts uh, that discovers devices etc and we built a, a fairly nice Web 2.0 REST interface on top of the, um, the remote APIs to that product to make it more convenient for JavaScript and mashup programming. 